and internet neighbors. Another day, probably not another dollar. Well, I hope if you've been at school, at home, or working from home, that it was another good day. Good things can be had in the home. Like at pets, you know, I don't pay him. I mean, maybe I do. Uh, again, Hamilton is with us today. Thank you, Hamilton. He, he's a, uh, an actor at heart, so he's happy to be with us today. I'm gonna throw a slip on my dance shoes. Again, this is day two of social distance, uh, social distancing with Amber, your friendly neighborhood dance instructor from Last Dance Gulch in Helena, Montana. I am really glad that you are here with us today. So, per usual, we're gonna start today's dance lesson with a bit of a pep talk. Um, I have been thinking a lot about the hero's journey um, over the last, well, for, for a while now. And um, the thing about the hero's journey is that it's never necessarily easy. And the hero is always crushed and disappointed, uh, often multiple times uh, before they're you know, become the hero that is famous to all of us, be they real life heroes or, or fictional ones that we admire in storytelling. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you today to first be your own hero, whatever that looks like, and then think about how you can be a hero to somebody else in the coming days and weeks and months as uh, we kind of all adjust to the new normal inside our homes, um, and in this virtual world which we are turning to. So I want to do a real quick share a quote from uh, Lala Delia. And she said, Grapes must be crushed to make wine. Diamonds form under pressure. Olives are pressed to release oil. Seeds grow in darkness. So whenever you feel crushed under pressure, pressed or in darkness, you're in a powerful place of transformation. So I really hope um, for myself, and I hope for all of my friends and viewers, be you near or far away, that this um, shared global experience can be a time of transformation. It can be a time of transformation for us as individuals, for our families, for our communities, for our country, and, and for our world, and, and particularly for our environment. I think we're learning um, a lot about um, how we impact the world around us. So with that being said, um, grab your love partner because we are going to put on um, Blanco Brown's song, The Get Up, and we'll just dance together uh, through uh, one entire song and then uh, we'll review the chorus together and then we're gonna work on part A and part B of the song, which I did share on my Facebook um, page so you should see kind of a breakdown of the song itself, a breakdown of the chorus, as well as the breakdown of part A and part B of the song, which we're going to be learning together today. So I hope you got your dance and shoes ready. Grab your love partner and let's get at it. Move in the chair. Right now. I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. Grab your loved ones. Or grab your love partner. And if you're by yourself, no worries. Just follow after me.
the right, now cool down. Have a good time. Slide to the left, slide to the right, do the butterfly. Have a good time. together today. So <laughs> I'm going to show you um, my whiteboard, but granted, you're not going to really be able to read it because for you, it's backward. Um, so, but we've got, um, and remember, each part of the song is worth 32 counts, and we're going to break things down in increments of four and eight, and even once for 12, depending. Uh, so we're going to start with part A which is after the first chorus. And we're just going to grapevine to the left for four counts. We're gonna grapevine to the right for four counts. And then we're gonna do some hip lifts with our left hand in the air, um, whatever beverage or uh, love partner of your choice today. Uh, grab, grab a drink. Uh, Amanda, if you're here, get your you know, glass of sangria. Uh, if anybody else has you know, a, a beverage that they're imbibing and enjoying during this dance class, uh, please share. Um, also, we're going to do some shoulder rolls and a slide to the left, which is eight, worth eight counts. And then we're going to do some freestyle for eight counts. The thing I like about the get up is that there is a significant amount of freestyle in the get up. So although we can all come together and do the same footwork and be on the same count, um, we still are able to kind of put in our own personality and our own freestyle dance moves. So let's break down part A together. So pretty easy, grapevine. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm not really sure if I need to be teaching you the grapevine, but if I do, that is okay. Uh, I'm just gonna step, I'm gonna travel to my left and I'm going to um, step over one, two, three, four. Okay, you could also, uh, depending on how you prefer it, you could just, you know, uh, go in front both times. Or you can take it in front, step, in back, step. And that's going to be four counts. Let's do it again. We'll go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have to grapevine to the right. And I'm going to step and go one, two, three, four. Notice it's a little bit 
bit different. Um, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. It's our total eight count. We'll do it together one more time. Let me face this way so you can follow along on the right foot. Again, we're traveling to the left and we're going one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. We're going to step to the left and I'm going to step behind. I'm going to step to the left and kind of bring my feet together. Then I'm going to step to the right, bring my foot behind, step again to the right, bring my feet together for a total of eight counts. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we need to review much more of the grapevine. I have confidence in your grapevine abilities. All right, so we finish our one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. And at this point, I kind of like to keep uh, the weight on my right leg and notice that this knee is slightly bent. And it kind of helps with those hip pops. So I'm gonna stick my hand in the air. I'm gonna put this hand on my hip. And I'm just going to pop my hips and we're going to do this for a total of basically and the, you're going to hear the cue when he tells you to put your left hand on your hip and this is going to go on for about eight counts so it's going to go one two three four and five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight and at this point we are going to roll the shoulders for about six counts, and then we're gonna to slide to the left um, on two counts, and that'll be a total of eight counts. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoo, that might have been a lot. Let's take it from the beginning. I'm gonna turn this way, and we're gonna grapevine to the left. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna kind of pop my left hip and put my left arm in the air. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Although you can't see it, we're gonna roll our shoulders for one, two, three, four, five, six, and slide on seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna face you uh, this way one more time. And then I'm gonna put on some music. We're gonna try it with some tunes. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one. Roll the shoulders, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. All right, you guys ready to try it with some music? Right now, I just need you to get real loose. Let's take it from the beginning. Grab your loved ones. Or grab your love partner. Where's my cat? If you're by there yourself, no worries. Oh, too late. Just follow <laughs> the lead. Six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five. 
Should we move on to part B? Let me, let me hear from the people who are actually dancing along. Should we move on to part B? Are you ready, Sharon? <laughs> Barb, I know you're watching. Barb, are you ready to move on to part B? And I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna call it. I'm gonna say we're ready, all right? So part B, also 32 counts again. Every part of this song is worth 32 counts. So part B, we're gonna slide to the left, we're gonna slide to the right, and we're gonna do a cool down. Each slide is worth two counts, and then our cool down is worth about four. And then we're gonna to slide to the left again, slide to the right again, and we're gonna do the butterfly. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic. And then probably my favorite part of this entire song, maybe because it's got some Latin vibes, we're gonna do what I call the cowboy washing machine. Uh, now I learned how to do the washing machine uh, watching Selena, the movie uh, with Jennifer Lopez, was one of my first, and still is one of my favorite Latin dancing moves. So this time, instead of just doing the washing machine, we're gonna add a lasso. So we're gonna do a cowboy washing machine. But we'll do that for about 12 counts instead of eight. And then we'll finish off with some freestyle for four counts. So it's gonna look like this. We're going to slide to the left, slide to the right. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to step with your left foot and kind of slide your right foot along. If you want to add some arm motions, um, think about sending your left hand into the air, slide, and then you're going to switch and take your right hand in the air as you slide to the right. You're going to bring your feet together and you're going to do a cool down. We're going to go one, two, three. We're just going to cool it down. Whew. One, two, three. So slide to the left. Slide to the right, cool down. All right, and then it's pretty easy. Slide to the left again, slide to the right again. And this time we're gonna do the butterfly. So what is the butterfly? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring kind of our knees and, our, and my hands are gonna to come together at my knees as my knees come together. And then my knees are gonna roll out and so are my hands and they're gonna come back together and they're gonna roll out. And we're gonna do this for four counts as well. So the count goes like this. We're gonna to slide to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it again. Take it slow. I'm gonna turn backwards, if that's helpful to you. We're gonna to slide to the left, slide to the right, we're gonna do our cool down, slide to the left, slide to the right, do the butterfly. Woo! All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's really important in that butterfly, either in that athletic stance, you're really getting into it if you're able, if your knees are able. If your knees are not able, then I just kind of want you to do this, all right? Uh, if you have knee issues, try that much. But if you can really get down and dirty with it, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Whew, and now comes my favorite part, the cowboy washing machine. So what's gonna happen is I am going to be turning in a counterclockwise direction. I'm gonna kind of plant and rotate around my left foot while I kind of move my right foot in a circle about 360 degrees, but I'm also gonna add a lasso, okay? And so it's, this is all about the hips. So I'm gonna step and roll the hip. I'm gonna step and roll the hip. Step and roll, step and roll. You'll notice that my left leg kind of stays planted while my uh, right foot and my right hip are kind of rolling around my left foot. And my hips are really moving again in a counterclockwise direction. All right, so let's add our lasso. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then our freestyle is just like, and one, two, three, four. All right, let's try putting it together. 
We are going to slide to the left, slide to the right, do your cool down. We're going to slide to the left again, slide to the right. We're going to do a butterfly. And then we're going to commence our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, before. What are we going to do next? Of course, our chorus. All right, let's do it a couple more times and then I'm going to put on some music. We're going to slide to the left, slide to the right, cool down, slide to the left, slide to the right, do the butterfly. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or one, two, three, four. Okay, just four counts of freestyle. If you wanted to add so one, two, three, four. Uh, shake what your mama gave you for those four counts. You can do that as well. Or you can shake what your mama gave you here. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> All right, again, I'm gonna turn backwards. Let's try it with the count. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, ready to try it with some music. Let's do it. Sharon. Right now, 
I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. Grab your loved ones. Or grab your love partner. And if you're by yourself, no worries. Just follow after me. Turn this off.